Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today we're playing some more Hotswine 4 as Vichy France in our France Puppet Master campaign. Um, right, I don't quite remember what we left off specifically last session. This is session two of recording, and we are doing a pretty decent job of crushing our enemies. I think we're trying to finish off a couple of our smaller fronts, such as Spain and Yugoslavia, before we deal with the Soviets and the UK. So just having a quick look around, and Japan is doing a fantastic job of losing to China because they have no men on the border. Don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, alright, we've got a bit of an issue here with the UK pushing in over here. We will have to deal with this, and let's make a start. Loop around, cut them off. We're going to need more people over there, because that is our supply of rubber at the moment. <sighs> challenges, challenges. Okay, let's drop speed down to three so I can get my head back in the game. I'm not too fussed about any of the focuses at the moment, because I want to flesh out our laws. We really need to change from a civilian economy. So by not picking a national focus, we're getting an extra, well, we're doubling our power, uh, political power gain each week, or each day. It's daily, isn't it? Yeah. And Got you guys are getting cut off. Could you not get cut off, please? <clears throat> Where the fuck are you walking to? Ah, uh, down there. Man, it does not take much time for my room to get hot. Okay. How is our production looking? Call to arms request from Japan. You should already be in this war. Japanese-Chinese war. We're not involved in that. Soviet-Polish war. You are already in that. Okay. Okay, Japan. Let's have a look at Allied battle plans. They do have a plan. 38 divisions. Bit bizarre. Don't know what the hell Japan's doing. Yeah, Blue Squid, that is <laughs> definitely an issue I face. <coughs> just too sexy for my own good, and every room I'm in just becomes vastly too hot. Okay, which line is this? This purple line. Starting to run a bit low on equipment. Italy lays claim to Greece. Please don't declare on Greece when we're still trying to finish off Yugoslavia. Spain is capitulated. Excellent. Okay, let's get this group going on Yugoslavia. They have a decent... Eh, they have an alright amount of planning now. Um, yes. Grab Gibraltar. Um, which group is our garrison for home? Pink. We really need to train up more garrison divisions. Let's expand them to cover Spain, and start cranking out more garrisons. Alright. Garrison troops. They will do the job. Get them out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Shrink that line straight into pink. Do we have any people we haven't actually assigned? No. Okay. Bye. Purple Army needs a new job. Where do we want to push back? Africa is probably going to be a good option. Yeah, that is quite a mess. Okay, let's get over to Africa, I think. 
front line that doesn't go through Italy, because Italy should be able to look after itself. And we want to push to Turkey. Alright, how is everything looking? Where are our fleets? Primer fleet in the English Channel. Some submarines sitting around doing nothing. Our fleet is pretty damn ravaged. Um, alright, political power is still growing. Yugoslavia... I do like that this is very green, even though the Soviets are just attacking into a defensive line of shitty Polish troops. Good job, Holland. Good job. If we attack into them, yeah, there's no chance of us pushing Soviets back. So my plan is that why is there, this line that is pushing into Yugoslavia is going to jump over and do the job of crushing into the Soviets once we finish that off. Uh, what the fuck is this group doing? Could you not just go to the nearest port rather than fucking around? Alright, let's update our economy to be a war economy so we're actually producing a lot more crap. Because we need everything. We're building a bunch of factories, some docks. We might actually need to double the number of... Let's crank this up to 16 for now. Actually, let's do this. Let's make that 8. So we're training 8 constantly, and let's just spit out an extra 8 as a once-off from there into pink. Bye. No. Into pink. Put it at the top of the list, make it important. Okay. One kill allies in Africa, two puppet Turkey, three save Japan again, four destroy Soviets, five kill allies in Asia, six puppet the world. Yeah, pretty much, hey. Yugoslavia's capitulated. Excellent. So, blue group, you get to now crush Russia. Let's give them a tiny line. Tell them to go straight to Leningrad. To not pass go and to not collect two hundred dollars. That looks good to me. <clears throat> Get over there. Italy should be able to deal with <laughs> their own shit. In theory, is perfect group actually landing? Can you just land at the nearest port rather than driving all the way around, please? Okay, that's looking alright. Looks like we lost a unit over here. Can we actually train anyone over here? No. What we might do is grab this group, cancel their orders, uh, cancel orders button. Right click, yep. And set them to just guard Vichy France. Well, not Vichy France, um, Siam. Hopefully, they don't just all die on the trip over. Right, Purple Group is starting to get into position. I'll just refresh where they're going to try and neaten that up. Take the train, please. 
Cool. Engineering Company 2 is done. 1940. We could improve our Mountaineers. Our support stuff is all doing alright. We could get better tanks, but that would mean a new line, and I don't want to have to deal with that yet. It is November. Let's get our next artillery upgrade. That was a good naval battle. Okay. Let's just do a test. Good, we are capable of pushing the Soviets back. <laughs> for, for a little while at least. <clears throat> okay, how is our production looking? We're producing more than we're losing for a few things. Okay, purple group. Could get maintenance companies. That would probably be worth doing. We do have an extra slot. The reason I haven't got them yet is I wanted to get the upgraded versions of what we needed before we got the rest of stuff. We really need to hold this peninsula. Japan, are you actually doing anything useful? I haven't seen any fighting going on in Japan for a while. Okay, blue group is still getting into position. Let's tell you to go faster. Can you make a new series of the higher man in the castle mod by playing as a neutral zone and trying to puppet the world? Also try doing naval landings on the UK before the navy gets stronger. Yeah, I'm trying to consolidate what we've got to deal with at the moment first. And I don't think the British navy is that strong at the moment. Not hugely, but um, we really need to get ours built up. We need more oil again, let's get a bit more from Venezuela. We should really stop getting anything from the US. Venezuela, give us all your oil. <clears throat> hey Goose, how you doing? Oh, Goose Apple. We should really get across this channel, hey? Alright, let's pause. Let's do this. Cancel that. Give them a fallback line. So they still ho hold the coast. And then... Draw up an invasion from... Pretty much here over to there. Oh, these guys really need some training too. Sure. Six. Mm, let's Aye. grab their troops. Seven, eight, nine. Was all. Uh, we don't really want to send a tank. Let's go 10. 10 people on there. <clears throat> uh, Blue Squid, yes. My current avatar is just Scott Pilgrim picture. I really need to get around to updating that to something different. Um, are we finishing some boat tech yet? Have we finished some and I didn't notice? Don't think so. Okay, this purple group needs to start pushing Africa back. This guy over here needs to take a bit of land back. I think we've lost a couple men from 
orange group. A lot of them are still on their way over. Enemy ships present nine. We do have air superiority. Once our fleet is repaired, we can get back out. That'll be good. Oh, come on. Bye. Go counter that invasion, please. <laughs> Crushed immediately. Um, Alright, where are you guys? Africa. Can you, you know, not be out of supply? The port Austrians to the UK. Exactly. That was a very good win. Two cruisers and ten destroyers for two carriers, eight destroyers, three um, heavy cruisers, nine light cruisers. Yeah, British fleets are getting wrecked. Three factories, hey? We could use a lot more light tanks. Let's have a look at our construction. We are still building new things. I want more dockyards. So I was having a look at the patch notes for 1.3.3, which is the next patch that's currently in beta for Hoi 4. And they're adding the option to hold control when you add a new building. And that will put it straight to the top of the list, which I think is going to be a nice change. Because having to go through and resort this list all the time is a pain in the ass. Right, infrastructure is last. Good. We should actually have a look at African infrastructure because this is going to run out of supplies really fast. Let's get those infrastructure projects to the top, as well as one of these repairs of civilian factories, because that will help us build stuff a bit faster. See, the exact same thing that happened to me in my game. What's that? Apple? Another invasion. Toad killed over North France. How unfortunate. Okay, let's actually combine all of those up. A couple submarines in the fleet would be nice. Japan is getting attacked a bit. Soviets are holding the line well. All of our people... No, oh, they're still getting in position. December. Alright, we'll let these guys build up their planning before we kick them off. Poland wants to join a war. You should already be in this war, I don't know why they keep asking if they can join in. Attention. <clears throat> okay, they're starting to push forward. You guys should just grab this, please. Where are these invasions happening? Good, we're holding here pretty nicely. Ireland joined the Allies. Pretty sure they did, yeah. Yes, they have. Okay, we got new bombers. Um, we should probably get better naval bombers. 44. We should also work on some of these. New destroyers. Let's get some of these things improved. Let's get our escort efficiency for destroyers. Outdated equipment and production, that is our old tactical bombers. We've got a ton of air experience. Um, fighters we already buffed, so let's buff our tactical bombers. Don't destroy Ireland too bad. I uh, can't guarantee we won't. won't. Let's get a bit of reliability and extra bombing capabilities. Mm. 
So a little bit better bombing, a little bit better ground attack, a bit of max speed. Mm, I'd rather more reliability than the max speed. Let's get building those. <clears throat> Needs more nukes. I haven't done any nukes since my Finland campaign. It was just a bit too much effort to get that far into the tech tree without already having won the game. Écoutez. Attention. Okay. Might go back up to speed four in a second. Attention. Because it's taking a while for stuff to really happen. Alright, we've got our bonus organization. Let's get better breakthrough. Yeah, let's get maybe back up to speed four. During the peace conference for the US, take back the area the US bought from France called Louisiana. US isn't in yet. Yeah, US isn't joining yet. Pretty sure they got war. Pretty sure they grabbed war plan. Oh no, just embargo Germany. Yeah, Japan. Um, US is gonna mix things up for us. We're good on manpower. We could use... Military High Command. Let's get better screen attack and defense, because that'll make our navy live a bit longer. Enemy ships present 12. We really need this fleet to get back out. US are sending troops, yeah. Okay. Attention. These guys actually have troops here, so gonna Attention. have to attack. Let's have a look how Asia is going. Starting to get cut off. That is not good. Because we need those resources. We're actually looking good on resources at the moment. Okay, Attention. Blue Group. It's probably about time you crush some Russians. Let's make a move. Let's get Green Line to attack forward so Russians can't reinforce. I don't, I've, what I've done by clicking start and stop is they'll attack once, they'll lose their fights, they'll hold the line. Meanwhile, the blue line will smash up to Leningrad and that'll be a good push. Alright, our fleet is back out. Where is it engaged? Way up here. <laughs> Alright, their fleet is busy. So, oh, we can't actually send that yet. Another couple weeks. Damn it. We're crushing their fleet though. That's good. Boat, who are the majors in the war with the Allies? Let's have a look. Soviet Polish war? Yeah, that's the one. So this war is the Soviets, the UK, Ireland, British Raj, Malaysia, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Canada. Czechoslovakia is already down, Spain is down, Belgium's down, Luxembourg, Yugoslavia are all down. So if I remember correctly, uh, Italy declared on Yugoslavia, which was guaranteed by England. So England came in on this war. Uh, and the Soviet Union had declared on Poland. So once we smash out the Soviet Union, we that may actually end our war with the UK. Because it says major factions in the war are the Soviets, so the UK is redundant. So we only really need to smash through Russia to finish off this specific war. But if we can knock the UK out, then fighting the Allies will be a much easier job. We need those guys to be done. Where is our fleet? Okay, 
engaged here. Oh man. Sunk a battleship. Sunk another battleship. Come on. Two battleships down. This is the end of the UK fleet. Carriers about to drown. Excellent. We can pretty much execute this naval invasion as soon as possible now. Let's get this group to focus just on the channel for now. Six days. Six days till we invade. <clears throat> We really do not have much, many planes in the air at the moment. No, oh, that doesn't help. Factory's getting wrecked. Um, okay. Not much we can do about that for now. Artillery upgrade is excellent timing. Engineering, 41, okay. Oh, 41, we need to do our efficiency upgrades. And it is time for me to put a break in here. Our push into Russia is going incredibly well. This line might get a bit overextended as we make a big line here. But from there, if we do a push straight into Moscow, that'll go very nicely. But for now, let's call an episode and I will see you in the next one. Uh, like, subscribe, check out the links below the video and I'll see you next time.